Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. What an absolutely beautiful day in the Sundays. I've just come out of Early Beach and heading towards Hamilton Island. So to get to Hamilton Island, I've got to get the van on that ferry over there. I've got a heap of shows on Hamilton Island, and uh, I'm going to show you guys around the island a little bit. Check it all out. It's a pretty amazing place, so looking forward to sharing it all with you. Well, I just sorted out all the paperwork to get the uh, the van on the on the boat amongst all the uh, all the trucks and whatnot down here. So this should be fun. Uh, check this out. Check out the color of the water. There's amazing boats here. A few not so amazing boats too. So here we go, heading that way. <laughs> It took about half an hour of watching the trucks go back and forth until they were ready to have me on board. I actually forgot I'd installed a, a tow bar on the back of the van and kind of bottomed out really hard uh, whilst driving on and uh, gave everyone a very good laugh. We shot the last episode in Ellie Beach which was about uh, 15 minutes away from here and um, the barge right over to Hamilton sort of takes about an hour. I had full access to the boat so got to have a little look around and um, meet some of the truck drivers and the workers and heard a few stories, so that's always cool. The colour of the water here always blows me away in the wet Sundays. It reminds me of um, when I used to work in the Caribbean. It's just such a beautiful colour. You kind of just want to go in and go for a bit of a snorkel and have a look at all the fish and get into it. My favourite bit is uh, when the doors go down and you sort of get the first glimpse of Hamilton Island. Um, all the crazy action in the harbour, the boats from all around the world going back and forth like uh, mad men. Mad men and mad women. I get to have one of the few cars on the island as almost everyone drives around in golf buggies. But I need the van because I've got 17 instruments in my show and that's way too many to fit on a golf buggy. New friend, Miss Jem, has decided to uh donate her buggy for a little tour for you guys around the island today. So how do these buggies go? Pretty slowly. Pretty slowly? <laughs> I, this is like a hot rod buggy though, right? You got like a V8 buggy here or something? It's just forward and backwards and go. Forwards and, and backwards and go, all go right. And, and how fast can we go on this thing? Uh, I think probably about 20 k. 20 k's? 20 k an hour. Yeah. What about downhill? Probably even slower. <laughs> Good. All right, we'll see how we go, hey? Yeah. All right. People ever fall out of these buggies? Uh, I'm sure it could happen. Has there been some serious buggy injuries on the islands or accidents? Or it's... Not that I'm aware of, but I'm sure that in their time it has happened, yeah. Back in the day though, when my parents lived here, nearly 30 years ago or whatever, you had to walk everywhere, so imagine this. Right. <laughs> Walking for a few. There's some massive hills around the islands, so uh, yeah. it would work up all the alcohol that you guys drink out here. <laughs> right? That's right, that's right. And what do you do on the island, Jim? Uh, I'm working for JL Cleaning. Cool. Island Keeping it all schmick. Yeah, keeping all the rooms nice and pretty. Yeah, awesome. Check out that view. I don't actually drop this thing up, but I'm pretty sure down here somewhere is George Harrison's house in Beatles. Really? Yeah. Back in the heyday when my parents worked on the island, my mum worked in the bakery with a Joe Terrison's housekeeper. Wow. He used to go when he wasn't here and sort of spa and have parties. So. George Harrison, hey? Yeah. From the Beatles. Wow. And it was a big um, tourist attraction. Have you island. been to the house? No, I haven't. I, I just have my parents have a photo album with photos from like the late 80s and we'll have parties. Do you, do you really enjoy working on the island or do you find it a bit tough at times with the, the workload and stuff? Or? No, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, it keeps you pretty busy. I think everybody hits their point on an island, so they need to go back to the mainland and get a little bit of a taste of reality. Yep. But it's a nice place to work and live, really, in the paradise. So you can't go Are you guys allowed to sort of go to most places on the island, or is there a lot of restrictions? I think um, certain stuff, um, the enterprise stuff, it's much more restricted, but mm -hmm. if you're a contractor that ends up on the island, then it's pretty free. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really awesome place to work. <laughs> cool. Have to be a music. Absolutely. 
the art had evolved. All the venues and all the uh, all the punters have been very lovely, and especially the staff. Yeah, yeah, it's always a good time. And the cocktails aren't too bad either. No, not too bad. Cheap beer. A little bit too good, I think. Yeah. A lot of buckets. <laughs> Guess what I just got? Guess what I just got? <laughs> I got my new symbol. Because oh. I keep breaking them. Oh, All no. the time. This <laughs> is the second one that I've killed on this tour. Don't hit drums too hard, kids. There you go. Jen, that was so awesome. Thank you so much for taking us on an adventure in Hamilton. You rock. Now I shall repay you with the guitar lesson. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. No worries. Thanks again for tuning in, y'all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and please feel free to become a patron for all my CDs and merchandise. In the next episode, I'm going to be telling you guys about my dreams and upcoming plans and of course, heaps more adventures including some overseas antics. And if you haven't already, don't forget to check out episode 1 and 2. I'll see you all soon. Peace. To my southern town, yeah, from the hills down to the sea.